Hello again, this is Matthias Bilbao with Yellow Case Digital Imaging and I want to show you something I received today. These are some emails that I received from a friend of mine and they're all links to job opportunities and he's sending them to me in order for me to forward them on to somebody that I know. Now, uh, there's about eight or nine of these and I don't want to have to select each one and forward it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first one. And you'll notice in this email there's a link to this job. Uh, and I want to, of course, pass these links on. So I'm going to select the first one. And I'm going to hold down Shift on my keyboard and select the last one. You'll notice that on the right here in the main area it says that I have eight messages selected. And I can forward this on simply by clicking on the forward button up here forward selected messages. Another way for me to do this is to right click on the highlighted area and select forward. When I do that, it'll create all of these uh, duplicates of the uh, content of all eight messages. So in each one there's a link that he sent me and possibly um, a message that he typed. All I have to do is in the to field type John Doe at AOL.com. And if there's anybody else I want to send it to, Jane Doe at Gmail, and so forth and so on. And in the subject field, I could just type jobs. So this is a um, this is a very good way of forwarding multiple emails to a single person or group of people uh, very easily. I'm gonna close that. You may have noticed when I right click here that there was also a forward as attachment. And once again, I right clicked on the highlighted area and instead of forward, I can do forward as attachment and this will create attachments of each of those emails. So this will be eight attachments. That's another way to pass these, this information on. All right. Very simple and a very good trick to have in your bag in case you need to forward multiple emails. I want to mention one more thing. And uh, in this case, because they were all consecutive, uh, I had to only select the first one, then hold down shift and select the last one. But what if I only want to select this one and this one, for example? I'm going to click off of these eight. I'm going to select the first one. Then I'm going to hold down the command key instead of the shift key. And I can select multiple non-consecutive emails. And that way I can forward these on in the same manner that I did the previous one. Well, that's it. That's how to forward on emails.